All righty, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, Sparkle's Banner is finally here, along with uh, Jing Yuan's rerun and also this new Dream Jaw TV event, which I may or may not play in the future. But yes, now it's the second half of the 4.4 update, and uh, Sparkle's Manor is finally here, with Sampo, Qingchui, and Hanya being the four stars. And yeah, being that Sparkle is apparently a busted ass harmony support, and also I need Qingchui constellations or Eidolons, yeah, I am definitely gonna be pulling on this banner. Now, I've been looking forward to Sparkle for a while now, like a really, really good while. Ever since we learned that she can give you more than five skill points at a time, I became instantly interested in, in her as a character. To pull for and also you know her character in the Pentaconi story quest the companionship quest of black swan and sparkle and also the recent trailers that came out about her just made me all the more interested in her so yeah here we are today to be uh, pulling for sparkle and hoping to get her um on 50 50 hopefully <laughs> just so i could save my jades for acheron when she does come around in 4.1 but yeah before we begin pulling for her i do really want to quickly test her out in the trial run first so we're gonna do that first before we uh pull for sparkle man look at her design though yeah she really looks a lot like hu tao <laughs> a very very demented hu tao i especially like the white and red mask that she has going on on top of her head there and also you know the tattoo is as well yeah she's like a mix between hu tao and yoimiya uh but a bit more fucked up than the both of them combined <laughs> her, her basic attack is her fucking kicking for a second i thought she wouldn't like have the gun that she had in like her little character demo but no she just knows karate apparently watch this Oh yeah, and I believe her technique is like invisibility, kind of like Sila's uh, technique, where like you're undetectable to the enemies, but and then like if you attack the enemy, you get like a a bit of a boost at the start. Uh, and yep, yeah, of course Ching Chui's in the team because uh, many people are applying to run Mono Quantum uh, once Sparkles in their team, me included, honestly. Like yeah, if I ever get Ching Chui to E4, I may try out like a Mono Quantum team, honestly. Okay, you want? Yeah, let's actually see her in combat first before we do anything else. <laughs> Surrender while you have the chance. <laughs> Honestly, like, uh, like Sparkle's voice, like Lizzie Freeman does such a good job as her. Oh yeah, so these are her skills. Okay, so from what I've heard, her skills basically like Branya's skill, which is like yeah, advance forward their action also increases their crit damage by a percentage of Sparkle's crit damage. So that's interesting. You want to build Sparkle with crit damage in that case, and then her ultimate regenerates like I think four skill points for the whole team. Which I think is kind of insane. And then yeah, her technique is to um, increase the max skill points to like 7, I believe. And then, yeah, when more skill points are consumed, the more damage they deal. Oh yeah, You're fucking look now. at that. Look at that. 7 freaking skill points. <laughs> That's just busted. Yeah, I will slow it down here for our animations, but uh... Yeah, let's uh... Good old Ching Chui Gambo here. Oh, there we go. Bang! Don't worry. I'll go easy. Okay, so if you do this and then, yeah, advance for this uh, Ching Chui, while also giving her crit damage. Uh, oh yeah, I, I love those animations, honestly. Oh yeah, <laughs> and also let's see her alt as well, because uh, I've seen this before, but I'll play it for you guys to see. Let's play hide and seek. A thousand faces in a thousand places. Can you find the answer? Honestly, that's a, such a cool looking ultimate. Uh, not as good as uh, Fu Xuan's in my opinion, but still pretty good nonetheless. And yeah, look at that. We're just at full skill points now. So yeah, she's gonna be valuable as hell to like, yeah, Shang Chui and also Dan Han in Viber Lune, who's the main DPS I'm trying to build right now. So yeah, she's a definite must pull for me. And to probably like most most teams that requires like a, a shit ton of skill points. Oh yeah, we have to like this mass buff like around all our allies. Uh, for for allies with Cypher, each stack of the damage boost effect provided by Sparkle's talent additionally increases by 9%. Oh, so you basically do 9% more increased damage dealt per um, skill point consumed. So instead of 5.2% per skill point in, uh, damage increase, you get like 14.2% damage increase per skill point consumed. That is actually fucking nuts. Come on. My turn. All right, and bam. 
Yeah, Sparkle is definitely a probably a must pull for <laughs> any Ching Chui or Imbiber Lune mains, because yeah, she's just straight A busted. Oh my god. But alrighty, that is the showcase uh, for Sparkle's uh, trial run. And now, now that we know basically about her whole kits, let's actually go ahead and begin pulling for the girl. I'm just gonna create a custom team just to pull for uh, Sparkle here. I'm gonna put Black Swan in because she seemingly likes Black Swan. I'll put Sampo in just because uh, he's a fellow mass fool. And then, I don't know, I'll put in Topaz because she's like a colleague of Aventurines. Who knows? Aventurines not in the game yet, so I can't put him in. So yeah, I guess this team will have to do. All right, and then where should we pull for uh, Sparkle? Actually, we'll pull for her in the Golden Hour. Yeah, out here where we saw her for the first time. I think that is a good spot to try and pull for her to <laughs> try and increase our chances of getting her. It's not actually going to increase our chances, but you know, it's nice to think that it would. Oh yeah, we should summon here where we saw Sparkle for the very first time. Or where, yeah, the Trailblazer met Sparkle for the first time. Yeah, I think this is a good summoning spot for her. But alrighty, now it's time to bring on the pulls for good old Sparkle. Okay, so the previous 5 star pulled for was Black Swan, and that was 25 pulls ago. So we're at 25 pity ass right now, and on 50-50. I think I have enough Jades here to, um guarantee for her but if possible i would like to win 50 50 so i could save the rest for acheron when she does come out but hey it's all up to the gacha gods whether or not i get her on 50 50 or not so yeah here's hoping we win 50 50 and also you know get a few ching chues along the way also i should say this right now but i'm f2p so if i lose 50 50 uh and have to go to guarantee i may have some troubles getting acheron that's all i'll say all right but i guess without further ado let us go ahead and begin the summer for Sparkle. All right, 25 pity as of right now, going from 25 to 35. Let's go. Come on, early, early Sparkle. Nah, of course it won't be. We won't be that lucky off the bat. Uh, can we at least get a change way though? Because my change is only in like E2, I believe. I need her to be E4 to be like pretty good. Uh, oh, good night sleep. Well, actually, that's not bad. That's a pretty good nightly light cone. I don't think I have an S5 yet, so I guess I'm not complaining. I would prefer a Ching Chui, though. Yeah, unfortunate. Ah, no Ching Chui's on the first tempo. Oh, well. Okay, so now we're at 35 pity, going from 35 to 45 pity. Early sparkle. Let's go. Cross my fingers here. Cross my fingers. Come home, black fool. Wait. Wait. Five saw already? Early? Also, I said Black Fool, I meant Mass Fool, my bad, but holy shit, 5 star! At 45 pity! Oh shit! Oh, okay, this is early, actually, this is early. Oh, please let it, please let me win 50-50. Please let me, yeah, please let me get Sparkle right here. Okay, this is 36, 37, 38, Hanya, uh, Elon, nice. 39, 40? Ah, no! Well, at least it's early, though. At least it's early, and at least I don't actually have a Himiko yet. Actually, that's... I'm not I'm not too mad about that, actually. I need Himiko for, like, pure fiction anyway, so... Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll build her. Ah! I mean, on the one hand, I can't be too mad because it's early. On the other hand, I wish I won 50-50. Ah, oh well. Damn it. Damn it. Can a second five star come here? Come home though, because this is only like the fifth pull. Yes, there's five more pulls to go. Come on, bring home and bring home a sparkle as well. Eh, one, two, three, four, five. Nah, nah. Well, I mean, we got an early five star. I can't really complain about that. And yeah, this is like my very first Himiko I'm getting on this account. So hey, not not too bad actually. I might actually build her to uh. Yeah, trying to make use of her in a uh, pure fiction. Not bad, actually. Not bad. And I did say at the beginning, like when I first started playing Star Rail, that Himiko was one of the five stars I really wanted, but uh, her or Welt. So hey, we got uh, one of the five stars I wanted down. But already, we lost 50 50. That means we have to start all the way over from five again. Well, at least this means I'll have some leftover pulls after I get Sparkle here. Not complaining, though. Not complaining that we got uh, like an early uh, five star, though. But already, can we get Sparkle early? Can we get another early five star? <laughs> I think Sparkle did not come home because I said Black Fool. I, I got Black Swan and Mass Fool like freaking mixed up, and I said Black Fool, and I don't think Sparkle liked that, so she denied me the 50 50. But oh well. Now we're guaranteed, and now all that's left is about a matter of when she'll come home. 
So yeah, let's get to it. This is going from 5 pity to 15 pity. Early, come on. Early. Another early 5 star, let's go. Nah, nah, okay. That's another 4 star. Uh, can we get some Ching Chui Constellations though? I really need them. Hey, okay, there we go. There's one. One Ching Chui, nice. Bring home a second one. Come on, you won't. Okay, and not Hanya. I mean, I, I'll take that, actually. I'll take I'll, I'll take a Hanya. Hey, two four stars. Not bad. Uh, actually, what's my Ching Chui Elon's at right now? She's E3. Okay, so one more Elon to E4. And then I should be able to, like, properly build her and get her to do good damage. Okay, so we still got a few more pulls to go. We're at 15 pity right now. Uh, trying to get Sparkle. Let's hope some more Ching Chui's come home. And let's hope Sparkle uh, comes home early. So... Yeah, this is gonna go from 15 pity to 25. Let's go, Sparkle, come on. Sparkle, let's go. Okay, no, no five star. Let's hope for Ching Chui though. Ah, damn it, only a, a light going, damn. Unfortunate. Okay, this probably is the unluckiest pull so far, considering I don't use that many destruction characters. Okay, but but all right, we haven't lost yet. We haven't lost uh, completely just yet. So now we're at 25 pity. This is going to go from 25 to 35. Halfway there. Let's hope Sparkle comes home early. Come on, I'm just crossing my fingers and crossing my toes here. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Okay, still, still no five star, unfortunately. Ah, what do I need to do to get Sparkle to come home early? Okay, can we, uh, can at least a Ching Chui happen, please? No, that is not Ching Chui. I mean, I love you, Hanya, but our, odds are I'm not going to use you once I get Sparkle. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, so now we're up to the halfway point of our, uh, our guaranteed, uh, Sparkle. I just realized not a single Sampo has came home. <laughs> because Sparkle is probably just being petty about, like, uh, about Sampo. You know what, maybe I should just get rid of everybody and just have a uh, Black Swan in the party. Maybe that'll work, who knows. I mean, it's worth a shot anyways, might as well see. But okay, this is going from 35 pity to 45 pity, halfway there. Early Sparkle, can we do it? Let's go. Early Sparkle, let's go, come on. Nope, okay. Well, that's what I get from getting my hopes up, I suppose. Game, I swear to God, if you give me more Hanyas rather than Ching Chui's, I swear to God. No, god damn, another Hanya! I probably have her E6 by now. God damn it, I, I need Ching Chui. One more Ching Chui, please. I'm not even asking for an E6 here. I'm asking for an E4. An E4 game, come on. Uh, Sparkle's absolutely fucking trolling my banner as of right now, which is oddly kind of fitting for her. All right, but inching ever so closely to uh, soft pity as of right now. This will be going from 45 pity to 55 pity. I'm just, I'm just gonna stop crossing my fingers at this point because I think they just kind of jinxed me, so yeah. Come home, Sparkle, already. No, bring him on Ching Chui with you, please. Come on. Still not a five star. Man, Sparkle's gonna wait till the very, very end to show up, isn't she? Like the troll she is. Like the mass fool she fucking is, isn't she? Uh... Okay, there we go. At least we got an E4 Ching Chui. Not bad. Not bad. Was that so hard, game? Was that so hard to give me an E4 Ching Chui? Okay, now I can first properly start building her. Not bad. I wouldn't mind an E6 though. <laughs> E6 is when she like truly becomes really, really mega OP, right? So yeah, maybe an E6 wouldn't be so bad game if you could give it to me. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm just pushing my luck here, but uh, yeah, this is going from 55 pity to 65 pity. Don't think Sparkle's gonna come home. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna think that. I'm gonna think Sparkle's not gonna come home in this summon. I gotta, you gotta reverse psychology to system. Sparkle is not coming home in this temple. Right? All right, 55 to 65. Don't bring home Sparkle. Do not bring home Sparkle. I swear, game, do not. Okay, they actually listened to me. Damn it, you were supposed to go against me, game. Ah, oh well. I guess we're gonna go up to Soft Pity after all. Uh, damn it, an abundance light cone. Damn it, not what I needed. Welp, let's see if Sparkle does come home once and for all in this 10 pull, though. All right, so we're just about to hit soft pity right now. This is going from 65 to 75 pity. Uh, yeah, can we get Sparkle right here right now? Or is she gonna make me wait till hard pity? We'll see. But knowing this girl, she's probably gonna troll me to the very, very end. All right, let's go. Soft pity, let's go. Damn. Okay, I guess I might be going to hard pity after all. Actually, no. Oh, I must have missed the rainbow ticket. No, never mind. 
I thought the music changed for a second there. Never mind. <laughs> Fucking Spock is absolutely fooling me right now. God damn it. Can you at least give me a Ching Chui though, please? There we go. E5 Ching Chui. One step closer. Come on. You can you can bring an E6, can't you? Can't you? Can't you? Nah. Nah, damn it. Oh, at least we got a Ching Chui out of that. Okay, I guess we're going to hard pity after all. Uh, well, my Akron funds are absolutely, uh, probably are taking a toll right now. Uh, geez. I'm gonna have to do a lot of saving and a lot of questing to, uh, try and get Akron when she does come out. Uh, oh boy. But alrighty, this is the poll where she should come home, unless she's gonna make me go to, like, 86 or something and, uh, and above. Which I hope not. Sparkle, you better not be trolling me right now, please. But alright. Last 10 poll. 75 to 85. Just come home already, Sparkle, and bring, bring a Ching Tree with you, why don't you? There you go. Uh, took you long enough. I mean, at least we got, like, the first five star early, you know? 76. 77. 78. 79. There you are, Sparkle. There you are. Uh, had to keep me waiting, didn't you? Damn. <laughs> well, at least it didn't use all my jades. That's at least what I'll say. Th at least I didn't use every single one of my jades. So, I at least have a chance of getting Acheron. Albeit, it's a very, very small, small chance. But, hey. At least we got Sparkle in the very, very end. Hey, and there we go. There's my E6 Ching Chui. Okay, nice. At least you didn't troll me with that. At least you didn't troll me with that game. At least I <laughs> got an E6 Ching Chui. Ah, uh, there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up our, uh, Sparkle summons. I think we did, like, a, a total of, like, 100 summons, actually. And 100 summons we got. Uh, yeah, we got several light cones. We got, like, one, two, three. Yeah, three light cones. We got, uh, four like Ching Chui Edelons. E6, let's go. Uh, what's our Hanya looking like? Oh, almost E6. Oh, she's at E5 now. Almost E6. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I got four Hanyas that, like throughout this whole thing. And we also uh, lost 50-50 and got Himiko, which I'm not too mad about. And of course, we got the girl Sparkle herself. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That about wraps it up for our Sparkle summons. I'm actually going to slap on all the... Uh, Relics I pre farm for her on her. Because, yes, I actually did do some pre farming in this game. All right, let's level this girl up all the way. All right, I think I'll leave her off at a good 75 for the meantime. And now onto her traces. Rules are made to be broken. Hey, that's my quote. Rules are made to be broken. Stop repeating it. Rules are made. To that's my quote. Stop repeating it. That's my quote. You can't say it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's a need to level up for basic, right? She's like Genshin all over again. All right, well, that's the highest I can get her as of right now in terms of traces. Gonna have to farm some more um, once I get the resin. All right, but this is what her stats are looking like. I think they're pretty good, to be honest. I may give her a test run in a bit here. All right, I'll just do a quick, quick test using Imbiber Lune here. Oh, yeah, her technique also recovers. Jesus Christ. That's a shit ton of skill points, boy. Oh, yeah, this feels so good to use. Bam! Oh yeah, this feels amazing to use. Oh yeah, Sparkle is definitely, definitely worth it. Yeah, it's like you never run out of skill points using this, uh, using Sparkle. Feels great, actually. Yeah, look at that, I just have a full seven skill points. Holy shit, the damage though, oh my god, okay. You took the baby. Actually, how much crit damage levels my Don Hung have now? Okay, I know it's like 169 normally, but if I stack it on with uh, Sparkles, like buff. Let's play for a while. Oh my god, he reaches freaking 200. Oh my god, that's like yeah, a full like 70 crit damage I get there, I think. That is actually amazing. Oh, whoops, looks like I'm out of skill points. Not. Can you find the answer? <laughs> yeah, the, the, this, this is very... Yeah, Sparkle's very, very much essential to it in Viber Lune teams. Definitely could have went with a better team there, but... Uh, but yeah, needs to say, Sparkle is freaking cracked. Definitely gonna have fun using her a lot more in the future. I just opened my mail and realized that Sparkle kind of sends us a gift. 
What the hell? I told you not to open it. You're too rebellious, darling. Are you enjoying your time in Panikani? Can't get enough of it, I'm sure. Since you're so brave and rebellious, Greyheart, I'd love to give you a gift. Something that can help you warm up. I know you know, think about it. Those traveler guides and refined ethers credits for value materials with questionable usefulness. And even clothes torn off from the Duke of Inferno. <laughs> They're all within your grass, aren't they? <laughs> oh, all the relics, right? <laughs> oh, right. This is an extra gift. I don't know what's in there. In case it opens up into some kind of treasure, post about it on in the answer. <laughs> post about it on the Inter Astral Peace Network. I'll be able to see it, or you can just leave it in the mailbox and check it out next year on this date. All right, next year won't have today's date, will it? Oh yeah, because it's February 29th, which happens every once every four years. And she gave us like a what a sparkle plushie, <laughs> and also 10 fuel. Well, thanks, Sparkle. Holy shit, that's actually fucking great. Actually, what the fuck? <laughs> Cred bits. When did I get this? This currency used by the Inter Astral Peace Corporation to settle accounts with its customers is now widely accepted as a hard currency for space travel. Did she give me just fake money? Did I just get fake money from Sparkle? Okay, now I'm afraid to open it. I'm gonna use it. What? A th what? A hundred K credits? Thanks, Sparkle. What the fuck? Okay, fucking jeez. Th thank you, Sparkle. Maybe you're not, maybe you're not as bad as I uh, thought you to be. And I'm also gonna put her in my support characters list. Well, there's my UID if you wanna use my Sparkle, guys. That was uh, that was weird. I did not look at the mail until I started summoning for Sparkle, so that was a surprise. But there you go, folks. That is our summoning and testing of Sparkle completed. We did manage to get Sparkle within a due amount of time, but unfortunately we did lose 50-50. But I'm not too bad about it because I can build Himiko for pure friction now now that i have her but yeah with all that said guys that about wraps it up for our uh sort of, oh actually, i actually haven't seen her idols before were you shocked just now uh yeah i, I kind of was actually <laughs> but yeah there you have it guys that about wraps it up for our summons for sparkle and also our like you know brief testing on her and whatnot i have no doubt in my mind that she's gonna be a busted unit for like skill point hungry teams and yeah she's probably gonna be a great support to anybody who pulls for her so yeah i highly recommend to pull for her if you have like very very skill point hungry teams oh I actually haven't seen her idols before, so that one was like kind of surprising. But yeah, highly, highly recommend Sparkle as a as a harmony support. If your main DPS is very skill point hungry, like Ching Chui or Nimbiber Lune, or just any other team for that matter that requires like you to spam skill points. But yeah, guys, with all that said, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how did your Sparkle or Jing Yuan summons go. And subscribe today if you want to see more videos or streams from me. I may do another Sparkle showcase in the future, as well as uh, try out this Dream Job TV event whatever it is uh once i do get the chance and yeah definitely be around for 2.1 of uh, star rail when it does come out and i'll also be hosting a watch party for genshin 4.5 special program tomorrow so if you want to catch any of those videos or streams from me be sure you scud the day so you don't miss them and also turn on the notification bell so you know when a video or stream goes up but yeah guys with all that said thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys again in the next one take care and have a good night and uh good luck with your jingwen and sparkle summons Watch this.